Let's recap. I had a tenant for 12 years. The first 10 years all was well, except for that short stint she spent in jail. But I understood. We're human. Ish happens. Then March of 2020 rolled in and the world as we knew it shut down. Everyone was ordered to stay in the house. Walmart and Target could not sell you food. Court shut down. If business wasn't deemed essential, you weren't allowed to do it. If caught, you were fined. If fined, you had to pay. These were the rules for everyone, but my tenant took it another step further. She decided she wasn't going to pay rent either. For 18 months, she stood her ground. For 18 months, I tried to read with her ish didn't work I took her to court I won she was evicted and instead of leaving like a respectable adult she flooded my ish I cried I laughed I cried some more insurance stepped in and said it was all covered the water damage the vents that the tenant poured beans and mayonnaise down the stove that she smashed up and now we are here the road to rehabilitate a beautiful home that was in an abusive relationship this is the road to renovation. We're going to learn, we're going to grow, and we may even mess some stuff up. But hey, at least we'll be messing things up together. Good morning, everybody. Okay, so it is September 29th, and I'm going back to office. It's Wednesday. I haven't been into office on Monday or Tuesday because Jay was here, and we um, were just doing the things, right? Um... I think, okay, so for today, I feel like I'm running into my first snafu with the renovation. And this is what I think I'm going to do today. Today's just going to be about phone calls. I need to call the water mitigation team, see what they decided. I had a conversation with them yesterday, see what came of that. I also need to call my insurance policy because the fact that nothing was torn out on that bedroom level where the water, most of the water originated from does not sit well. So we have to get to the bottom of that. Um, I have a few other phone calls that I need to make today. So I'm just going to be making phone calls. And then I have some emails that I need to respond to as far as um, my channel and business propositions, requests, sponsorships. I'm, I've always been bad at that stuff anyway because ain't nobody got time. But, you know, I don't know. I'm going to reach back out. I'm supposed to do a sponsorship thing. But I'm going to reach back out. I'm like, listen, here's a new price because... My thing is this, either I price high so that I can make it worth my time, or I just don't do them at all. That's just the bottom line. So I'm going to look at those things, getting back to those things. Today. I know I have some book orders that I have to fill and get out, and um, I need to go make some coffee and get my lunch together. Let's go do that. Okay, we are in the car right now. So one thing I can say that I am happy about with yesterday was the fact that we, um, the house is cleaned of all of the furniture and stuff. The rest of the furniture and, and crap, you can't even call it furniture, but the rest of the crap, um, the heavy washing machines, two of them in a dryer, the stove, the refrigerator. So I am happy that the place is cleared out. Let me return a few text messages. All right, so let me see. I got one more text I need to return. Still mitigating the water damage. Yeah, so that's about it. So now we're going to drive to work. It's 7.20 right now. 7.20. Who, who we thinks up? Who can we call? Who do we thinks up? Nobody? Nobody? Nobody's up? Yeah, people probably don't. Jay's up. Let's call Jay. No, let's not call him right now. Jay, I'm not calling you right now. Um, the reason why is because it's 720. He, I believe most of his people start coming in at 7. So when I call him right about now, y'all. Good. Top of the morning. What we're going to hear is a whole lot of people checking in and getting assignments and getting instructions. And we're going to hear a bunch of that. So we'll call him later. We'll call him on our first car break. Jay, I'm going to call you on my first car break. All right. Bye. <laughs> he said I would be the perfect girlfriend if I called him more. Y'all, we talked several times throughout the day, but that is not enough for my man. All right. We're going to do better, though. We're going to do better. That's all he's asking. That's all he's asking. Is that too much to ask? More phone calls? No, it's not. We're just not going to start right now. Not right now. I already know. I know you're Hi, Kelly. I was calling to find out the status on my property. 
Um, we actually just got your protocol call last night. So okay. the estimator will be going out there and writing the mold estimate, and then we should be able to have that uploaded to get approval for the next part of the, the job. Um, everything is completely dry except for right at the, uh, the subfloor at the stairwell. Um, so then that's all we're waiting for now. All right. So I still had the question about the fact that the flooring wasn't torn out from where the water source started, like the upstairs bedroom level. Yeah. The, the bathroom, um, I, my, my guy that went out there yesterday actually pulled the, um, area of the floor in the bathroom yesterday. In both bathrooms? Um, I'll look at his pictures. Um, we're still in our morning meeting, but, um, I'll look at the pictures as soon as we're done and I can let you know. Okay, because I have things okay. where the carpet in the bedroom, in the bathroom, in that hall coming out of the bathroom, all of that stuff was mm -hmm. drenched with water. Okay. I'll definitely look into that for you. Okay, thank you. So as soon as our meeting's done, I'll call you back, okay? Okay, thank you. I was calling to get um, a status update. Miss Davis? Yes. Yes, so he's still in the meeting, but she'll give you a call after her meeting to give oh. you that update. Hey y'all, it's the end of the day, it's like 6.30 p.m. I did 10 hours at work today. So now we are going back home. And everything is, everything. all is well guys, all is well. Y'all know what we were struggling with this morning or what the, the thing was this morning. So, did talk to the water mitigation team, the people. They said... That basically once things are dried out, they don't remove things. And I guess essentially it makes sense that their job is to go in and get the place dried again. And in doing that, they did cut out a lot of the walls and stuff like that because that stuff was wet at the time. But now things are dry, so they don't cut out anything else anymore. But the second part that they do do, now they did go back in though and pull up them floors up in the bathroom because I'm like if all this subflooring is still wet down here that stuff is still wet up there that stuff has to come up so she did say that somebody went in and did that Then the second thing that they did is they had the environmentalist. I think I kept calling it the toxicologist or something, but they had the environmentalist go in and he did samples and now they have to go back through and do a write up of the cost analysis for the samples of um, the mold and possible mold spores. So that's what's happening next. And then they'll submit that to the insurance claim and that is all good. And then also, in the meantime, I talked to my insurance ingester, and he assured me that all of that stuff was going to be coming out. The counters, you know, just all of the things. Um, even if it's not by the water mitigation team, it will be by the reconstruction team. So he gave me a good warm and fuzzy there. And then, why, is, why are you not lighting up? And then he also gave me some good news by saying that he was going to go ahead and cut the check for the rent starting from September 8th all the way through September. So they're going to pay the rent all the way through September. And then if we're still rehabbing the house after December, did I say that September 8th through December, and if we're still rehabbing the house after December, then he'll just cut another check then. Y'all, this is turning out better than expected. I remember like in some of the comments people would say next time when you get a renter have them pay X amount up front so many months have them pay so many months up front um, and so it's just funny that my insurance is actually paying so many months up front so that is super dope and super exciting okay going home now and when I get home what I would like to do is make me a nice cup of coffee with sea moss and then I would like to or what I need to do is edit a video for fun and budget channel for this saga and then what I would like to do is get that camera together why does it keep going in and out of the light 
but okay so there we have it all right let me call jay call in jay call in jay <laughs>